Welcome back to WWE 2K22 Universe Mode, episode number 55. We are live for Monday Night Raw, just 27 days away from Survivor Series. And as we approach our next Universe Mode pay-per-view on Sunday night, October the 16th, one of the men that will compete in the main event at Survivor Series is in action later tonight on Monday Night Raw. The WWE Champion, the Rated R Superstar Edge, set to go one-on-one -on -one with the returning glorious Robert Roode. Former NXT Champion, former Tag Team Champion, will Roode be able to combat the Rated R Superstar later tonight? Plus, the first round of the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament continues with Sasha Banks making her return for the first time since April 11th as she teams up with Naomi to take on Rhea Ripley and Raquel Gonzalez. And we are set to kick things off tonight on Monday Night Raw with a little bit of singles action coming your way of the almighty Bobby Lashley. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Hurt Business from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. You take note that MVP, as well as the Nigerian giant Omas, not in the corner of Bobby Lashley tonight. That is because Bobby Lashley set to go one-on-one -on -one with one half of the world tag team champions, Dominic Dijakovic, a man along with his tag team partner, Damian Priest, who has had issue with the Hurt Business over the last month and change. Well, this special matchup has been made tonight. Bobby Lashley versus Dominic Dijakovic, and everybody, including all members of the Hurt Business, as well as Damian Priest, have been banned from ringside for this contest. A lot of that having to do with some outside interference from the Hurt Business over the last several months in their matchups with Damian Priest, Dominic Dijakovic, and of course, Lashley has been dealing with issues with AJ Styles as well as Matt Riddle over the last number of weeks as well. So it's a big opportunity for Dominic Dijakovic here tonight. Still hot off of Judgment Day a number of days ago when him and Damian Priest won the World Tag Team Championships, but it's a singles matchup tonight. Can he get the job done one-on-one -on -one versus the Almighty? Weighing in at 270 pounds, one half of the world tag team champions, Dominic Dijakovic. It was back at Judgment Day that Dominic Dijakovic and Damian Priest dethroned Dominic and Rey Mysterio for those world tag team championships. The Mysterios were atop the tag team division for several months here in the WWE, but they meant their match back on September the 10th. And you remember last week here on Monday Night Raw, we kicked things off with a matchup between Damian Priest and Cedric Alexander. Damian Priest picking up the win on that night. Of course, Shelton Benjamin and Dijakovic were at ringside for that contest, but tonight is a special occasion. No Damian Priest out here to watch Dijakovic's back, but hopefully it won't be needed as the entire Hurt Business is banned from ringside as well for this one-on-one -on -one matchup. It's Bobby Lashley versus Dominic Dijakovic. We're kicking things off in a big way here on Monday Night Raw. And again, still to come tonight, the first round of, oh, man. Bobby Lashley landed on his feet. Dijakovic almost threw the big man there. Lashley able to take down Dijakovic. But as we are mentioning, still to come tonight, the first round of the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament continues, a tournament that will conclude on Sunday night, October the 16th at Survivor Series. Oh, what a super kick by Dijakovic. But still to come tonight, it will be Raquel Gonzalez, a former NXT Women's Champion, as well as a former NXT Tag Team Champions, making her main roster debut alongside Rhea Ripley. As those two colossal competitors of the women's division are gonna take on Naomi and the returning boss, Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks has been out with an injury since April the 11th at Backlash. He is back here tonight on Monday Night Raw. And still to come tonight as well, the Rated R Superstar Edge in action for the first time since winning the gold for the 13th time at Judgment Day. As he's set to go one-on-one -on -one with another man making his return. Oh my goodness, Bobby Lashley manhandling Dijakovic over the top rope. That was a horse fall from the ring to the floor of this arena. And Dijakovic 
feeding off adrenaline right now. Try to fight back as Bobby Lashley just sent him for a ride. And Dijakovic going to do the same to the Almighty. Now Dijakovic springboard dive to the outside on Bobby Lashley. One half of the World Tag Team Champions showing up tonight in big manner, taking down Bobby Lashley, showcasing his abilities that we talk about every time Dijakovic is inside that square circle. A man of his size being able to fly around the ring the way he does. Certainly a special talent, absolutely impressive each and every time. Lashley may be in trouble here. Dijakovic's heading to the middle rope. Maybe a little far out to make this dive. And he's going to do it anyway. Oh, instead. Well, that may have been a smart maneuver from Dijakovic. Actually trying to get behind Bobby Lashley, but I think Lashley just had two minutes. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That is the theme music of the original bro, Matt Riddle. Well, hey, the Hurt Business and Damian Priest are banned from ringside, but nobody said anything about Matt Riddle, a man who has had issue with Lashley and Omos as of late. Dijakovic almost stole the win there over Bobby Lashley. Oh, Lashley with a kick to the gut. A oh, one half of the world tag team champions. Dijakovic in trouble. Dominator by Lashley. Lashley to the cover. And unfortunately, the circumstances catching up to Dijakovic real quick. Bobby Lashley with a victory over Dijakovic. I think Riddle's plan may have just went south. May have just fired up Lashley. Maybe changed up the strategy of Dijakovic and it just cost him. Well, Riddle's had issue with Lashley and Omas over the last month and changes. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Back from the replay. Riddle is in the ring and he's going after Bobby Lashley. Lashley may have took on AJ Styles back at Judgment Day. Got the victory there. But there is still a score to settle with the original bro, Matt Riddle. As there is a score to settle between the Hurt Business and several men here in the WWE. Bobby Lashley may be walking out the victor over Dijakovic in quick fashion here on Monday Night Raw. But I don't think Riddle is going to let the Almighty get the last laugh. It's about making a statement tonight. It's about retribution for all the issues that the Hurt Business has caused Riddle. Riddle leaving Bobby Lashley laying a victorious Almighty but he's not walking out tonight. Our next Universe Mode pay-per-view, Survivor Series, coming up on Sunday night, October the 16th, will feature the last chapter between a storied rivalry between Edge and Randy Orton. And that matchup has been made a hell in the cell. Randy Orton, Edge, the WWE Championship. Two men with a storied rivalry against each other will meet one final time at Survivor Series, and they're going to the depths of hell. What well, is time to continue on here on Monday Night Raw, and the new Intercontinental Champion the black heart of the WWE, Tommaso Ciampa, is in the house. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Weighing in at 201 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Tommaso Ciampa. It was back at Judgment Day on September the 10th that Tommaso Ciampa took away that Intercontinental Championship from the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne. It was a bruising brawl around the arena on that night. After weeks of animosity between the two men, Pete Dunne absolutely not walking into that matchup 100%. Also had a lot to do with the attack by the Celtic Warrior Sheamus earlier in the night at Judgment Day as well. But in the end, the result saw this man, Tommaso Ciampa, the black heart of the WWE, taking home the Intercontinental Championship for the first time in his career. That is your face, or at least I should say one of the faces of Monday Night Raw. 
Tommaso Ciampa came to the main roster with purpose. He knew what he wanted. He wanted the Intercontinental Championship. In a matter of a month, he got the gold away from Pete Dunne. But tonight, Dominic Mysterio's got a chance in singles action against Tommaso Ciampa. This should be a good one. And his opponent from San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, Dominic Mysterio. Well, it's been quite some time since Dominic Mysterio has been in singles action here in the WWE. Him and Rey Mysterio, his father, holding the World Tag Team Championships for the better part of three months here in the WWE, holding down the tag team division. And of course, as we mentioned, that tag team championship reign coming to an end back at Judgment Day. But Dominic here on his own tonight. And will Dominic be on his own when the WWE heads towards a brand extension? The draft will be happening live on Monday Night Raw after Survivor Series on Monday night, October the 17th. Friday Night SmackDown is coming back on the air. And the WWE brand extension and the WWE draft are going to be coming your way just 24 hours after the Survivor Series pay-per-view. A whole lot of excitement looming in this universe mode right now. You aren't going to find this kind of excitement, this kind of action, these kinds of stories in any other universe mode except right here on the Nomination Gaming YouTube channel. As we get set to continue Monday Night Raw, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We have Dominic Mysterio taking on the Intercontinental Champion Tommaso Ciampa who may have just knocked Mysterio's lights out right after the bell. Tommaso Ciampa has been vicious and has been violent and most importantly has been undefeated since coming to the main roster. Victories over Dolph Ziggler, Ilya Dragunov, and of course the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne. Dominic Mysterio's got a big opportunity here tonight. Could he be the one to take Tommaso Ciampa down a few pegs and possibly earn himself a future Intercontinental Championship opportunity. All will tell in due time, but it's a great opportunity nonetheless here for Dominic tonight on Raw. What a way to kick off Monday Night Raw moments ago. A short but sweet matchup between Bobby Lashley and Dominic Dijakovic that ended in anarchy with the original bro, Matt Riddle, appearing. Of course, the issues between Riddle, Omas, Bobby Lashley have been looming for really several months here in the WWE. Those issues were really brought back up by Bobby Lashley the same way Lashley arose those previous issues with AJ Styles. So should be interesting to see how those events play out over the next number of weeks on Monday Night Raw as we continue the Road to Survivor Series coming up in just 27 days, Sunday night, October the 16th. What pay-per-view that is going to be, and of course the big news moments ago, the main event that we already knew, the WWE Championship going to be on the line. The number one contender, the man who earned that opportunity at Judgment Day in the finals of the WWE Championship Eliminator, Randy Orton, going to be taking on the Rated R Superstar, the new WWE Champion, AJ, or excuse me, the Rated R Superstar Edge. Still talking about AJ Styles, one of those issues between him and Lashley that we've been discussing, but Edge and Randy Orton coming up in Survivor Series, and because of the history between those two men, the match has been deemed hell in a cell. The first time here in the universe mode, we're gonna be seeing a hell in a cell matchup. The cold hard steel we brought down to the floor below, and Randy Orton and Edge will be locked inside at Survivor Series. What a matchup that is gonna be. So we continue the road to our next pay-per-view, but let's focus on the action inside of the ring right now. Tommaso Ciampa, Dominic Mysterio going out of here. Ciampa just has a mean streak ever since he made his main roster debut on the night after Extreme Rules on Monday Night Raw. The first night he reared his head here on Raw, attacked then Intercontinental Champion Pete Dunne, and it really just led to a month's worth of brawls and attacks between Dunne and Ciampa. And of course, the thing that really escalated the situation that originally started looming to Pete Dunne's injuries heading into Judgment Day was when Champa threw Pete Dunne off the stage here on Monday Night Raw and Dunne went crashing on the can or excuse me crashing on the concrete of the floor on that night Pete Dunne went into Judgment Day all bandaged up of course earlier in the night had been ambushed by the Celtic Warrior Sheamus those two men with issues dating back several months to SummerSlam, and Pete Dunn took away the Intercontinental Championship from Sheamus without even pitting him in a triple threat matchup. So, 
Interesting situation there. I'm sure at the same time, Pete Dolmas to get another shot at Tommaso Ciampa. But wait a minute here. Dominic Mysterio dial up the cell phones to 619. Dominic may have just pulled off the victory of a lifetime over Tommaso Ciampa, but Ciampa lives to survive. Dominic out of nowhere right there with the 619. Now heading to the top rope. Could be looking for the exclamation point. A la Eddie Guerrero with the frog splash. Oh, and he almost had him there again, but Tommaso Ciampa getting the shoulder off the canvas after the count of two. Dominic's got to stay on the offense. He's got the Intercontinental Champion dazed here, throwing him over the top rope, bringing the fight to the outside, and I don't know if that is the best strategy for Dominic Mysterio in this matchup. Tommaso Ciampa, Dominic's had to see all the bruising brawls between Tommaso Ciampa and Pete Dunne, and as well as his opponents and Dolph Ziggler and Ilya Dragunov every time we've seen Ciampa over the last month, so definitely not the place, in my opinion, that Dominic wants to bring this fight, and it's clearly working against him right now as Ciampa is back in the momentum seat of this matchup. Oh, and now Dominic hitting the barricade. With Survivor Series looming. On October the 16th, Tommaso Ciampa, I'm sure, will be defending the Intercontinental Championship on that pay-per-view. Now, if Dominic Mysterio can somehow get back in this matchup and defeat Tommaso Ciampa, he could absolutely punch his ticket to become the number one contender for the gold in the near future. So, only time will tell, but right now, things are not looking good for Dominic. That small window he may have had to beat Tommaso Ciampa after the 619 and the frog splash may have been closed, and things are kind of back in the corner of Ciampa right now. And Ciampa is just beating the hell out of Dominic on the outside of the ring. And the Intercontinental Champion heading back into the Monday Night Raw ring. You know Ciampa doesn't care if he wins this match via count out or not. Ciampa's got something else in mind. Oh, may have gone after Dominic a little too soon. Dominic on the outside here had a moment to rest at Ahura Kanarana. Is Dominic about to see some light and get back in this fight? His father's not in his corner tonight. Dominic is going on alone. It's a big opportunity for this young man. And the fight on the outside continues. And Dominic lays out the black heart. The following up with a moonsault, but may have went to the well too many times there. Champa's still in this matchup. We may not like Tommaso Champa's actions ever since he has arrived on the main roster, but. One thing you can't take away from the Intercontinental Champion is just how tough he is from bell to bell inside of that ring. He's a hard man to keep down. Just ask Dolph Ziggler, Ilya Dragunov, and of course the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne. And depending on the result of this matchup, you could be asking Dominic Mysterio the same question. Dominic trying to stay in this fight though. Champa may be in trouble. Dominic's feeling it here. He's getting the crowd here tonight on the Mysterio side. Again, it's been a bit of time has passed since Dominic Mysterio's last singles matchup. A lot of tag team matches over the last several, several months for both Mysterios. So Dominic, the younger competitor in this matchup, could also be feeling a little bit of singles rust, if you will. Now Dominic being placed on the top rope. Tommaso Ciampa absolutely has got something destructive in mind here. Oh, no. Dominic's used to taking it to the air, but not this way. Superplexed by the Intercontinental Champion. And a sense of doom has come over the arena. We may be looking at the final moments of this contest. Oh no, Dominic Ciampa may have been looking for the fairy tale ending. Sunset flip into the cover here, but Ciampa counters into a pitfall of his own. Oh, and Dominic able to get the shoulder up. Catching Tommaso Ciampa off guard there. Almost had the Intercontinental Champion. Yeah. Gonna give credit where it's due. Dominic Mysterio is putting up a fight against the Intercontinental Champion right now. And once again, Ciampa is heading back up. He's going for that superplex for a second time in this contest. Oh, wait a minute, no. He's got something. Oh, no, Dominic Mysterio counters. Thought Ciampa may have been going for some kind of brain buster, but Dominic counters, springboard, missile drop kick, takes the Intercontinental Champion off his feet. Dominic's headed to the top rope. Finds a window of opportunity, but Ciampa gets the knees up. 
That may be all she wrote for Mysterio here. Champa whipping off the opponent and an elbow drop, simple but effective. Now you see the wheels of the black heart turning. Got the arms locked. Fairy tale ending. Mysterio showed a lot of guts, but just not enough to get it done here tonight. Tommaso Ciampa continuing to prove just how dominant he can be from bell to bell inside of that ring. Undefeated since making his main roster debut. Dolph Ziggler, Ilya Dragunov, Pete Dunne, and now Dominic Mysterio, the current Intercontinental Champion of the WWE, the Blackheart, Tommaso Ciampa. Like him or not, like his actions or not, it's absolutely been on the roll of a lifetime. Here is your winner, Tommaso Ciampa! Dominic Mysterio, credit or not, the opportunity now passes him by. I'm sure Pete Dunne's gonna want another crack at Tommaso Ciampa when he's good to go, but the question remain. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, the match is over. Dominic's down on the outside, but Tommaso Ciampa's not done, that son of a bitch. Oh, come on, on the outside of the ring, the Intercontinental Champion with the fairy tale ending. An unnecessary assault as Ciampa's already got the victory here tonight. It is time to continue on with the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament. And we got a debut ahead of us right here, right now. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Gonzalez. Well, so far in the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament, we have witnessed Bailey and Dakota Kai damage control defeating Ember Moon and Shotzi. This past week on main event, Io Shirai and Zia Lee defeating Shayna Baszler and Sonya Deville. And this Thursday on main event, we will see Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan taking on the way, Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. But up right now, we have a former NXT Women's Champion as well as a former NXT Women's Tag Team Champion alongside Dakota Kai, Raquel Gonzalez, making her Monday Night Raw debut a part of this Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament. And by her side will be another woman with the size and stature of her. The strength of this duo is going to be hard for any team to topple. Can Naomi and Sasha Banks get Ripley and Gonzalez out of the way before they even get going? That is the big question as Rhea Ripley makes her way to the ring. And this first round matchup gets set to kick off on Monday Night Raw. Wait a minute here. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting some breaking news. We're going to air it right here. Coming up on Sunday night, October the 16th at Survivor Series. A traditional Survivor Series matchup has been signed. The Hurt Business set to take on AJ Styles, Matt Riddle, and the World Tag Team Champions Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic. A four-on-four -four classic Survivor Series elimination matchup. What a contest that has been signed for Sunday night, October the 16th. Traditional Survivor Series tag team bout. That is gonna be a great one coming up at the Survivor Series pay-per-view. AJ Styles, Matt Riddle, Dijakovic, and Damian Priest taking on Cedric Alexander, Shelton Benjamin, Omas, and Bobby Lashley of the Hurt Business. Big, big matchup signed, looming from the events from the last number of weeks, and of course, earlier tonight, here on Monday Night Raw. Rhea Ripley is in the ring alongside her new tag team partner, Raquel Gonzalez. And here comes opponent number one. Has held championship gold here in the WWE before as well. A former SmackDown Women's Champion. Naomi is in the house as we await the return of her boss tag team partner. Orlando, Florida, Naomi. Naomi and Sasha Banks got history teaming with each other. Remember back to 
2015. Sasha Banks' early days here on the main roster. Remember, Team Bad with Sasha Banks, Naomi, and Tamina. So those two women reuniting here tonight. A part of Sasha Banks' return to Monday Night Raw. But Naomi, the last few times we've seen here, seen her, excuse me, on Monday Night Raw, it has been in losing efforts. Will she be able to turn things around alongside Sasha Banks in the midst of this Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament that, of course, will conclude on Sunday night, October the 16th at Survivor Series, where we will, will, we will crown, excuse me, new WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. I'm all amped up. I'm excited. Because for the first time since April the 11th, the boss has arrived. Raquel, Rhea Ripley versus Naomi and Sasha Banks. And from Boston, Massachusetts, Sasha Banks. A leader of the WWE Women's Revolution. One half of the first ever Women's Tag Team Champions alongside Bayley. A former multiple time Raw and SmackDown Women's Champion as well as a former NXT Women's Champion. A former WrestleMania main eventer, Sasha Banks has done almost all there is to do here in the WWE. But upon her return tonight, alongside Naomi, the boss, and the glow, looking to move on to the Tag Team Championship Tournament and possibly become the new Women's Tag Team Champions. This is a first round matchup here on Monday Night Raw. We're gonna kick things off with Raquel Gonzalez and Naomi. The Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament continues right here, right now. And of course, already in this tournament, as we discussed prior, Damage Control, Bailey and Dakota Kai, defeating Ember Moon and Shotzi last week here on Monday Night Raw. And it was this past week on Main Event where Io Shirai and Zia Lee defeated Shayna Baszler and Sonya Deville. We got this matchup before our eyes right now, and then coming up this Thursday night on main event, we're going to see The Way, Candice LeRae, and Indy Hartwell taking on Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan. So the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament continues, and it has been a hell of a tournament thus far. And just two matches in, all four women that we witnessed, or excuse me, all eight women that we witnessed compete thus far have left it all inside of that ring. But as we progress just 27 days on the road to Survivor Series, we know that only four women, two teams, can compete for the gold on that night when we get to the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. So it will be very interesting to see how this tournament plays out over the next number of weeks. Naomi in there with Rhea Ripley, and Ripley's really had a mean streak about her as of late. Spent a few months on the shelf. She came back on the night before Extreme Rules. At the Saturday night's main event special event, where she defeated Saray. The post match attack later out as well. And then the last time we saw Ripley here on Monday Night Raw was actually in a losing effort alongside Alexa Bliss prior to the Judgment Day pay per view. Now, Naomi tagging in Sasha Banks. The boss is in the ring for the first time since April the 11th. It was back at Backlash on that night where Sasha Banks competed against then WWE Women's Champion Bianca Blair. Two women that have a load of history with each other. Sasha Banks walked away from that matchup, not only without the women's championship, but also with numerous broken ribs. It took months to heal, but she is finally back here tonight on Monday Night Raw and automatically in the process of possibly getting a championship opportunity. Sasha and Raquel going at it for the very first time and Rhea Ripley in there to break things up. What a night it has been on Raw thus far. Look at Sasha Banks taking out Ripley as well. Just moments ago, Tommaso Ciampa with an absolutely unnecessary, unwarranted attack on Dominic Mysterio after their contest. But nonetheless, Ciampa walking out with the victory. And of course, Bobby Lashley defeating Dominic Dijakovic earlier tonight, which has now led to the announcement of that four-on-four -four traditional Survivor Series elimination matchup coming up on the 16th of October. Lashley, Omas, Cedric, and Shelton Benjamin will be taking on Priest, Dijakovic, Riddle, and AJ Styles. And of course, that is already on top of Edge versus Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. 
inside hell in a cell at Survivor Series. So just a few matches to announce, but our next Universe Mode pay-per-view already shaping up to be an all-timer, as they always are. If you missed our last Universe Mode pay-per-view, which was on Saturday night, September the 10th, the Judgment Day pay-per-view, the replay is available now right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Sasha Banks almost putting away Raquel Gonzalez there. And Gonzalez going to make the tag to Rhea Ripley. Sasha Banks is feeling herself with the crowd here tonight. Got to watch her back because Ripley is right behind the boss. Sasha Banks, a veteran of the ring. Rhea Ripley, no stranger as well. Both these women have held championship gold on numerous occasions here in the WWE. But both women hungry to get back into that championship glory. Rhea Ripley, we saw her contesting for the women's championship during the summer when Bianca Blair was still holding the Women's Championship. Came up short back at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view and then a few weeks later on Monday Night Raw in a epic no-holds-barred matchup between those two women. Drea Ripley got injured in that contest which cost her a couple of months of her career but ever since she's been back an extra line of brutality and anger has been expressed by Rhea Ripley. Sasha sending Ripley into the opposite corner. Now tagging back in Naomi. We're going to see a little action here out of the boss in the glow. A little tag team on Rhea Ripley. Able to get the bigger competitor up. Ripley and Raquel Gonzalez. You got to say, even though this is their new tag team here in the women's division, definitely with their size and strength, got to be the team to beat in this tournament. Quite possibly may be the most dangerous team in this entire tournament. So Naomi and Sasha Banks definitely got the odds stacked against them tonight. We will see how they continue to fare. They're looking good right now. Naomi taking down Ripley. And of course, this is also Raquel Gonzalez's debut here on the main roster. We touted it before. We will again, a former NXT Women's Champion, a former NXT Women's Tag Team Champion alongside Dakota Kai. Of course, Dakota Kai now teaming up with Bayley. Bailey, the one who brought Dakota Kai up to the main roster from NXT, now calling themselves Damage Control. Looking to get their spot at the top of the women's division. Naomi may just put away Rhea Ripley, but that flurry of kicks there, but Ripley is still in this first round matchup for the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament. And coming up in moments here on Monday Night Raw, we're going to see the return of the glorious Robert Roode, who's been spending some time down in NXT for the better part of this year, back here on the main roster for the first time in quite a while, and he is going to be going one-on-one -on -one with the Rated R Superstar, Edge, who of course this will be his first appearance since winning the WWE Championship for the 13th time in his career back at Judgment Day. A first time ever main event coming up in moments between Edge and Robert Roode, the Rated R Superstar versus the Glorious One. Should be a hell of a matchup coming up in just a few moments here on Monday Night Raw. And Rhea Ripley may have just punched her ticket to the semifinals, laying out Naomi there into the cover. She goes, but Naomi showing the heart, showing the guts, able to get the shoulder off the canvas. Naomi, look at this, pop up. The Frankensteiner takes the bigger competitor off her feet. Simple but effective there. It's one of the best parts about Naomi. She's got a very interesting arsenal. It may have just knocked Ripley's lights out as she goes head first on the canvas, but Ripley gets the shoulder up again. And Sasha Banks, on the other hand, you gotta wonder what her condition is. She's been out ever, ever since April the 11th, as we mentioned. It's a long time to be on the shelf, but are her ribs still bothering her? That is the question we gotta ask throughout this contest. As meanwhile, Naomi has got Ripley all tied up in a submission hold here. Ripley so strong in the arms though, maybe hard to keep her down, but there's Raquel Gonzalez in the ring, not the Leo competitor, breaking up the submission hold. Naomi's got an answer for her. Taking Gonzalez off her feet. Oh, wait a minute here, look at this. Able to get her up. And over and down to the canvas, and now a tag made back to the boss, Sasha Banks. Rhea Ripley may be in trouble here. She took some damage from Naomi, a flurry of offense. And the Queen of Glow herself, and the Meteora from Sasha Banks. And not enough yet to keep Rhea Ripley down. 
Sasha looking good in her offense thus far in this tag team championship tournament. First round matchup between the winners of this match will go on to fight the winners of this Thursday's matchup between The Way, and Alexa Bliss, and Liv Morgan. Again, that is going to be coming up this coming Thursday night, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, right here on the Nomination Gaming YouTube channel, your next edition of Main Event. More info on that night coming up in moments after this contest before we get to our main event. Here, Ripley and Sasha Banks, the fight has made its way out here to ringside. This is where things get dangerous, and there's where I, I believe Sasha Banks needs to be more careful. Especially with the more dominant competitor and coming off an injury, you don't know the condition of Sasha. Definitely doesn't want to be around barricades and steel steps. Trying to lock in the bank statement here, but unfortunately Rhea Ripley's feet placed under the ropes. Sasha Banks met, met with a little bad luck there. Now she's headed to the top rope. Frog splash by the boss. Into the cover she goes, and she almost had Rhea Ripley. Most likely it would have been a three count had Raquel Gonzalez once again not interrupted this matchup. And Sasha trying to take out Gonzalez, but Gonzalez making her way to the outside. And Sasha, snap bear, Gonzalez goes flying. And now with Raquel out of the equation for a moment, this is where Sasha's got to take advantage. Unfortunately, Rhea Ripley may have been able to recoup for a moment there as Sasha was focused on Ripley's tag team partner. Rhea Ripley's been in this match for quite some time. She could use a tag out, but instead I think she's looking to put Sasha Banks away on her own. Sasha's all tied up, dead center of the ring. Is this going to be all she wrote for the boss and the glow here tonight on Monday Night Raw? And Naomi in there to break things up. Sasha may have been on the verge of tapping out for good in this matchup here. And Sasha gets the shoulder off off the cover. Sasha bounced it up. Oh, look at this. Ripley's in trouble. Pinfall situation. Oh, and Rhea Ripley kicked out. But you see Raquel Gonzalez was coming in for the breakup. And instead, Naomi, I believe she hit her with a Spanish fly. Referee in the pinfall, we're a little bit in the advantage point, but Naomi laying out Raquel Gonzalez nonetheless. Rhea Ripley has been in this matchup for quite some time here, and that may be not in the favor of her and Raquel Gonzalez right now. Sasha's heading to the top rope. Splash again. Cover she goes. Ripley is still in this fight. And what is it going to take to keep the queen of brutality down for good in this matchup. Sasha tagging in Naomi, maybe some fresh legs for this matchup here. Naomi with the kick. Sunset flip, oh wait a minute, she could be going for that submission hold. She had this tied up earlier. Rhea Ripley's in trouble, and Rhea Ripley taps out. Raquel Gonzalez getting into the ring just a little too late, and Naomi and Sasha Banks are in the driver's seat along to the semifinals of the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament. There you see the bracket, and there you see the results. Naomi and Sasha Banks moving on to the semis. Who are going to be their opponents? We are going to find out this coming Thursday night on Main Event. It is your next episode of Universe Mode on Thursday night's main event, and the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament continues. First round matchup, Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan go 2v2 against Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell of the way. Also coming up this Thursday, the disciple Buddy Murphy is going to be in one-on-one -on -one action, competing for the first time since that Judgment Day loss as he goes against the show-off Dolph Ziggler. All that and more coming up this Thursday on main event. I got facts over facts over tracks. It is main event time for your September 19th, 2022 Monday Night Raw edition of Universe Mode. And for the first time since Judgment Day and becoming a 13th time world champion, the new WWE Champion, the Rated R Superstar, is in the house. Set for a one-on-one -on -one contest against a returning glorious Robert Roode. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making
making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Weighing in at 249 pounds, the WWE Champion, the Rated R Superstar, Edge. And of course, coming up on Sunday, night, October the 16th, Edge is going to step foot inside the Satan's prison known as Hell in a Cell as he reunites an old rivalry against the number one contender for the WWE Championship, Randy Orton. For the final time in those two men's career, they will clash at the TD Garden in Boston inside that demonic structure. But here comes Edge's opponent tonight making his return to Monday Night Raw. Raw just got a little bit more glorious. And his opponent from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds. The glorious Robert Roode. Robert Roode, one of several WWE superstars who has spent time the better part of this year down in NXT, working with the future of the WWE franchise. But tonight, Robert Roode is back on the main stage, back on Monday Night Raw. And of course, Robert Roode is back ahead of next month's WWE brand extension, the WWE Draft. Where is Robert Roode going to lie? And we're going to find out on the Raw After Survivor Series, Monday night, October the 17th. Friday Night SmackDown is coming back your way. And the draft is coming up. Just 24 hours after the Survivor Series pay-per-view. It's going to be a very interesting couple of days that is going to determine the future of the entire WWE. The landscape is surely going to change in the month of October. Well, what a matchup we have on hand right now for what has been a great night of Monday Night Raw action. The glorious Robert Roode back in the house tonight. Set to go one-on-one. -on -one with the WWE Champion, Edge. Will Edge build some momentum on the road to Survivor Series or is Robert Roode feeling the excitement and the adrenaline of being back on the main stage? Will that power him through a big time victory over Edge tonight? It's a first time ever matchup between these two fellow Canadians. And of course a win for Bobby Roode could absolutely put him in line for a future WWE Championship opportunity. And how great would it be for Roode to come back to Monday Night Raw for the first time this year and automatically put himself in line for the WWE Championship after the Survivor Series pay-per-view. Big time opportunity for that man who has been a former NXT Champion, a former Raw Tag Team Champion, former United States Champion as well for Robert Roode. Has yet to really have an opportunity in the main event scene here in the WWE. So it'd be great to see Robert Roode Get back to that opportunity and get to that stage for the first time. Rude taking the fight to the rated R superstar Edge here, and he sends Edge over the top rope. And it was only about nine days ago, September the 10th, where Edge competed in the main event of Judgment Day against All Day Austin Theory. And Edge dethroning Austin Theory, becoming the WWE Champion for the 13th time in his career. Of course, he won his 12th world title back in June at the SummerSlam pay-per-view that all came crashing down back at Extreme Rules in the month of August. But Ed's keeping the championship reign of Austin Theory real short. Beating him was a hell of a wrestling clinic in the main event of Judgment Day in Denver, Colorado on that night. Now Edge looks ahead to Survivor Series where, of course, he was already set to face whoever was going to be the number one contender outlasted the finals of the WWE Championship Eliminator that took place over several weeks, concluded at the Judgment Day pay-per-view. Of course, that ended up being the Viper, the Apex Predator Randy Orton. And because of the history between Randy Orton and Edge, the animosity between these two men for several years, ever since Edge made his return to the WWE coming out of retirement. It was two men with loads of history with each other. Wait a minute, I gotta backtrack here for a second because Robert Roode may have just put Edge away in this matchup off that spine buster. Roode's about to pick up a big time victory over the WWE Champion, but Edge gets the shoulder up. Roode almost defeating Edge here in the main event of Raw. 
And as we were mentioning, Edge and Randy Orton, the history between these two men over the years. WWE officials knew if Edge and Randy Orton were going to meet inside the ring one more time for the WWE Championship at Survivor Series, it couldn't just be your average wrestling clinic. Clinic, excuse me. Those two men have a lot of hatred built up between each other. And you know things are going to come to blows on sight between those two men, so WWE management taking upon themselves to add the big time stipulation for the Survivor Series main event. Edge and Randy Orton for the final time ever inside hell in a cell. What a matchup that is going to be for the richest prize in the business today coming up on Sunday night, October the 16th. Second rope spear from Edge. Is that going to do it? But Rude gets the shoulder up. And that's a very effective move in the arsenal of Edge, but we talk about it every time he hits it. Not a move that usually puts away his opponents. As opposed to the spear that Edge has perfected over years, kind of a variation coming off that middle rope, a slight, slightly different angle, not hitting the same, not the same adrenaline coming off of that maneuver. So definitely effective, but not usually a move that puts his opponents away. Edge and Bobby Roode back out to the outside here. And Roode eating the steel post. You got to think Edge is in this matchup with the knowledge that his WWE number one contender, Randy Orton, is eyeing up his opponent. Edge trying to send a message to the Viper here tonight on Raw, saying that he's going to be ready for anything and everything when the two men step inside hell in a cell at Survivor Series. Edge winning the WWE Championship for the 13th time, and... Of course, he lost the championship just a little over a month after he won it at SummerSlam, lost it at Extreme Rules. You know Edge doesn't want to have that same story written for him and his career this time around. Winning the championship at Judgment Day, you know the Rated R Superstar is going to be locked in come Survivor Series. Looking to make sure that this 13th title reign doesn't come to an end too quickly. Robert Roode back in this matchup now, dropping the elbow on Edge. Very nice maneuver on the Rated R Superstar. Now Roode's got Edge working on that lower back. And you remember Roode, a couple of minutes ago in this contest, hit that spine buster, a signature maneuver for the glorious one. Now continuing to work on the lower back of Edge, trying to build up that damage. Keep down the WWE Champion, but Edge dragging Roode down to the canvas. Edge is fired up here tonight. First matchup since Judgment Day. The Rated R Superstar looking to prove that there's a reason why he is atop the mountain in the WWE right now. The Hall of Famer looking at, oh, going for that elevated DDT on Robert Roode. Roode able to get out of it. Take it, Edge, off his game in that hangman's neck breaker. And that may be all she wrote for this contest, but Edge living a fight for another moment. Robert Roode going for the kick, could have been looking for that glorious DDT. Edge had it scouted, drop kick of his own there. Edge is feeling it here tonight in your main event of Monday Night Raw. This is WWE 2K22 Universe Mode Episode 55. And of course you can join us this Thursday night on main event. And we're going to see Murphy taking on Dolph Ziggler one-on-one. -on -one. And of course The Way taking on Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan in the final first round matchup of the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament. Both those matches and more coming up this Thursday night on Main Event, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. And as you witness this Monday Night Raw Main Event, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel down below. Let's continue growing the universe one show at a time. Edge grabbing a hold of Robert Roode, doing some damage right now. Roode going for the clothesline. Edge ducks out of it and hits that maneuver again. Now back into the cover goes the WWE Champion. Will that be all she wrote? But Rude gets the shoulder up. Rude, as we mentioned, this is his return to the main roster here tonight. He's spent the better part of this year down in NXT working with a lot of the superstars of tomorrow. The Braun Breakers, the Carmelo Hayes. Guys we will see on the main roster, I'm sure, in the coming months, in the coming years. Men that will be the future of the WWE. Rude has helped shape those young athletes, but now tonight it is back to business for the glorious one and back to focusing on himself. Big time opportunity against Edge in this first time ever main event on Monday Night Raw. Just 27 days out on the road to Survivor Series. And now Edge, a little bit dazed here. Rude's got him in a predicament, and Edge face first on the canvas. 
Bobby Roode in such great shape, dropping that elbow right on the chest of Edge again. And the recovery goes. You see the forearm planted over the face of Edge. Just trying to keep Edge down, put all the weight on the WWE Champion. Oh, Roode again for the second time in this matchup with that spine buster. Signature maneuver for the glorious one. And now with the kick, could have been looking for the glorious DDT. Edge avoids it momentarily here. Rude grabbing a hold. Maybe grabbing the hair a little bit of Edge and now throwing him in the corner. And Edge with the counter. A little bit of sense of urgency from the Rated R Superstar. Rude is dazed. Edge with another chop just trying to unload on his opponent here tonight. Came charging at Rude and back and forth we go with the momentum here. Reversal after reversal and Edge puts a stop to it with that big time super kick. Rude is dazed. What's Edge going to throw at the glorious one next? Taking him off his feet. Simple but effective sweep of the legs for the rated R superstar. I wonder what's going through Randy Orton's head as he's watching the WWE Champion compete in action right now. Of course, it was last week here on Monday Night Raw. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Regardless, regardless, Edge is in the corner. A spear on Robert Rude. Into the cover goes the WWE Champion, and Edge is picking up the victory here tonight. Edge showing up for the first time since Judgment Day and showing out on the road to Survivor Series. The momentum continues to be built for the WWE Champion of the World. A great main event, an impressive return for Robert Roode. And a sign of respect from these two fellow Canadians. Well, Rude's back on the main roster. It's going to be interesting to see where his road takes him next. But thank you for joining us here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Another great episode of Universe Mode. And we will see you this coming Thursday on Main Event as the Road to Survivor Series continues to play out. Thank you and good night, everybody. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rock.